there were roughly 20 minutes where we had staff and students in lockdown that it 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 was not a hoax. So for students and staff, this was as real as it could be. Number of people texted family members. I love you. I, I might not see you tonight. We still have staff and students that are um, still unpacking that, still dealing with with the feelings that they had that day. The voice on the other end of the 911 call hello, hello, hello. He shot three students in the classroom. is similar to one we've heard before on fake threats made across the tri-state. I was teaching in the classroom and he picked up a gun and shot another student in the classroom. At least a dozen local campuses have been impacted by swatting this school year. One of the things I think we all know that we know is that the majority of these are coming from the same source. Uh, I don't have you know, hard evidence of that, but uh, common sense tells us that in terms of what we've seen. We asked Mo Kennedy with the National Association of School Resource Officers why it's happening. I've wondered, are they trying to test our systems? Uh, are they trying to see where there are gaps in our responses? As Mount Healthy works to move forward, a message to those calling these fake threats in. To anybody would be stop and think um, because just the trauma that this causes for our students, our community, and then our staff, um, it, it, it's just deplorable.